everyone welcome to my channel in this video we are going to discuss about the radix sort okay radix sort from the data structures so this is a linear sorting algorithm the radix sort is a linear sorting algorithm and it is different compared to the remaining sorting techniques okay so here we are going to consider the digit position here so based on the position of the digit in the number so we are going to perform the swapping okay so this is the radix sort is completely different from the remaining sorting techniques that is the bubble sort insertion sort and selection sort okay so here we are directly comparing the two numbers right so whether if they are greater than or less than so based on the order we are going to perform the comparisons and swappings but here instead of comparing the elements directly we are consider the the uh, digit position in the number so based on that position we are going to perform the swapping okay so this is the so digit, digit by digit sorting performance sorting starting from lsb to the msb that is the least significant bit to most significant bit okay so this is the method of sorting technique used in actually card sorting machines so the machines that are not available now and are found only in museums now okay which is a ancient one so here we assume that all the numbers to be stored are of equal digits so if you want to perform the radix sorting technique then all the numbers must be of equal digits so if you consider this example so all the numbers are of equal digits right so 181 so that means three bit three numbers are there in the each I mean three digits are there in each number right so if the all in the number if there are equal digits only we can perform this sorting technique okay so the real time example is sorting of student names okay suppose there is a person so ram so there is a person ram and ravi okay so we are going to perform the sorting technique here based on the positions of the letters in the particular uh, in the particular word so r so r is same a is same in the position and here the m comes before the um, the particular letter v so that's why we are arranging this in the particular order that is ram and ravi so like this the positions will be declared here so Ra ram name will come first in the register and the ravi name will come next in the next to the ram right so this is the one of the real time example of the radix sorting technique that is the sorting of student names in the registers so next coming to the example of the radix sort so we are considering this example with the array of elements 181 289 390 121 145 736 514 and 212 so here e all the numbers are of equal digits okay so here so we have to scan the first number so here it is 181 so separating the first least significant bit so we get 1 right so what is the least significant bit in the 181 that is 1 okay so we get 1 and we insert the 181 into the first pocket okay that is the one right so likewise scan each item one by one separate the first least significant bit that is the least significant digit and insert the item into the appropriate pocket so after this pass is over the item stored in all the pockets will be in this manner so in this manner we have to arrange all the numbers to the particular pockets in the given index okay similarly the next one 289 so the least significant digit is 9 so it is inserted to the index 9 289 so 390 so in the number 390 if you separate the first least significant bit so that is the 0 so 390 will be placed in 0 similarly for 514 so the last bit is last digit is 4 so it will be placed in the fourth index in the uh, in the fourth index so likewise we are going to arrange all these elements so after the 
first pass is over the elements will be in this arranged in this manner okay so copying this items from the uh, first pass we are going to the second item second pass so in the second pass so the items will be arranged in this manner okay so we are going to consider the in the second pass uh, so we are going to scan all the numbers one by one so separate the second least significant digit and insert it into the appropriate pocket okay so the contents of the pockets after the second pass is in this manner okay so this contents will be arranged in this manner so here so here we are going to consider the 390 181 121 so in the previous pass we have scanned the first one right so here we are going to scan the second digit that is 9 8 2 1 1 3 right so this like this manner so in this manner we are going to consider all these elements in the middle of the number whatever the bits are there we are going to consider right so now uh, 390 so 390 so 9 is there right so in the ninth position 390 is placed okay similarly 181 so 181 is placed in the eighth position eighth index right and similarly 121 so it will be placed in the second position and 212 so it will be placed in the first position and 5 and 4 so it will be also placed in the first index so in this manner we are going to arrange all these elements in the index in the second pass so in the next pass that is the third pass okay so here we are going to consider the most significant digits in the given array so most significant digits are 2 5 1 7 1 1 2 3 so these are the elements right so we are going to arrange the numbers into the particular pockets in the given index okay 2 1 2 will be placed in the second position right so 2 1 2 will be placed in the second position okay and 5 1 4 is placed in the third position so the 5 1 2 will be placed in the fifth position right 5 1 4 is placed in the fifth position 121 so it is placed in the first position right first position will be placed and 786 is placed in the seventh position and 145 is placed in the first position so in this manner we are going to arrange all the elements in the pockets right so after the pass three gets completed so this is the final result so all these elements are in the ascending order right so after the uh, last pass so here the number of passes will be equal to the number of digits in the number so the best case average case worst case of this algorithm is so this the best case is omega of um, n plus k and average case is theta of n plus k and worst case is big o of n k and space complexity is big o of n plus k and it is a stable algorithm so while designing this algorithm we should choose the appropriate data structures okay so we have 10 pockets here which are initially empty an item to be inserted into a pocket has to be inserted at the end and we can insert any number of elements so for this we can use an array of linked list right so we also know that items are inserted at the end of every pocket and while copying we are accessing the elements which are at the beginning so another data structure that we can use is fifo data structure which is a queue okay so this is all about the shells uh, radix for tactic thanks for watching my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you